Welcome to another Arthritis Help Movement Improvement Session where you learn to move differently so you can feel better. I'm Dr. Dave, physical therapist, and today we're gonna to be talking about loosening up the stiff neck, a few tips and tricks. Uh, sometimes I wake up and I just have that little crick in my neck, maybe I slept just wrong and it hurts to turn one way or the other, or maybe you have a chronically stiff neck that gives you problems when you're looking in certain directions. I'm gonna give you a couple of quick tips that you can do to help loosen things up and get you moving a little bit more freely. It's, it's real simple, you don't need any special equipment. Uh, you just learn how to move your body in a couple of different ways and free up some mobility that maybe was hiding on you. And before we get started with that, I want to remind you that I built a 10 minute a day full body strengthening program just for you. You can find it in the description of this video. Uh, download it free right to your email. Uh, that's my gift to you for being a, a faithful viewer of the work here. Okay, so all we're gonna have to do is sit and just get a sense of where you are. Very nice. Turn your head just to do a little diagnostic. Not as far as you can, not so it hurts. Turn where there's no pain and just see, just get a sense of where you look. Get a sense of where your vision goes in each direction. Good. And we can tilt the head to the side and just get a sense of how much movement you have when you tilt from side to side. Maybe there's a little bit of pain. When I go this way, I get a little sticky right here in my neck. There's just that little twinge. This way feels fine and uh, just to get a sense of where we are and where we get started. Okay, quite simple. The first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna put it over your head and you're gonna grab the left side of your head. So you're, you're wrapping your fingers around the left side of your head and you're just gonna gently press your head into your fingers and your fingers are holding you back, right? So it's as though you're moving your head to the left but your fingers are stopping you. And this is going to engage all the muscles on the left side of your neck and it's going to actually relax the muscles on the right side of your neck and then release. We're just gonna do a few of those so you just engage and release. And engage and release. And hopefully this is comfortable for you. It shouldn't be causing any pain. If it is, just push a little, uh, a little softer, just to where you can go. Engage and release. And just that, just that engaging on one side and relaxing the other might actually give you a little bit of relief, but we're going to do much more than this. And relax. Good. Okay. Now we're going to engage just through there, and then we're going to tilt the head over to that left side. So we still have pressure between the head and the hands. So if I put a piece of paper here between my finger and my head and I tilt it over, it would be tough to pull out because there's still that pressure there. And then we release. And again, you're gonna gently put pressure into the hand and then tilt the head and the torso to the left. And you're gonna notice that when you do this, it's a little bit less of the neck bending because we have that pressure, but it's more of the torso bending. So what we're doing is we're connecting this movement through the whole body and you'll feel that you start to actually open up the right side of your body and compress the left side of your body and relax. And so that's a little trick to get the movement out of your neck and into other places. And very often when we have chronic neck pain, it's because we're localizing all the movement just into the neck and it never flows through the rest of the body. So this movement is a nice way to just remind the rest of the body that uh, it's allowed to come along for the ride. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna uh, relax the hand. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna take the hand, put it on top of the head, and put that little pressure, so you're tilting your head to the left, holding it back with that right hand, but now we're going to the right. And you're still maintaining head pressure to the left, and this is a little bit different because we're, we're turning on the left neck muscles as we're bending to the right, which is a very unusual thing for your body to do. Typically, when we bend our head to the right, we have to bend the right neck muscles to do so. But when we do this and provide that counter pressure, and we do this, we're telling the body, bend the head to the right, but engage the left neck muscles. And that is a new pattern. That is not something that we do every day. And new patterns are great for our brains. New patterns are very fulfilling for our brains. Uh, we, they love it and they love to, to gain new experiences and get out of old habits. And that's why it's good for comfort. And you'll feel that as you tilt the head to the right, you might even feel that you start to load up your left cheek or your left buttock a little bit as you open that left side of the body. So you're not just 
tipping your body over to the right, but you're actually gliding a little bit to the left as you tilt your body to the right. So let's go through that one more time. You're taking your hand, top of the head, the head is tilting into the hand, and then your whole body is tilting to the right, but kind of gliding to the left. And then come back. Good, we'll do that one or two more times, still keeping that pressure between the head and the hand. Remember, if there's a piece of paper, or if there's a $100 bill between your hand and your head, nobody would be able to pull it out because there's pressure in between. Excellent, good, and just relax. Relax your hand, relax your body, Whew. and just sit and see how you feel. Good, even from here, we can do a little turn and take a little turn and see if your head maybe doesn't move a little bit more freely just from that little action. And you can even tilt your head to the side whoo, and see if that doesn't feel a little bit better. And for me, I have this right side neck problem when I tilt to the right after doing that, significantly less pain. Not completely gone, but I'd say for me about 80% gone, which makes me happy. And what I can feel is that when I'm tilting my head, I can feel my whole body now start to open up on that opposite side. So I'm taking the pressure out of my neck and putting it into other places, which is exactly what I want to do, exactly how we take the pressure off and unload. Uh, it's kind of a misconception that we need to do more in the neck. Usually we need to do less and we need to do more from other places. Okay, now we work a little bit side to side. We're going to work on some rotation. So it's the same exact start position. You're going to take your hand, put it on top of your head. You're going to put that pressure from the head to the left, restrain it with the hand. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn and look to the right just as far as you feel comfortable, not as far as you can. Okay, you're going to push and then tilt. Good, and see, I'm sorry, turn, and see how you turn. And you'll notice that when you do this, it's actually creating very little neck rotation, but a lot of trunk rotation. And so what I want you to feel is that as you're putting pressure into the head and turning to the right, your left knee is actually elongating forward, and your right knee is maybe drawing backward a little bit. And that's gonna turn you from the pelvis just a little bit. Don't overdo, just see if you can feel that relationship happen as you turn and open from the elbow. Make sure that you don't have that elbow turned in, that that elbow is kind of leading your way out. And a nice thing that you can do is use your eyes to lead that movement too. So we're putting that pressure with the head into the hand, turning from the elbow, and the eyeballs are just gonna look at the elbow as we go, and that'll help us to turn the torso a little bit. Good, one more time, a little pressure. Eyes and arms turn, feel maybe a little bit of turn from the legs as well, the pelvis, and come back and relax. Very good, shake out the arm. It's a little bit of a grip or forearm exercise as well. Uh, and now we're gonna do the same exact thing, but we're just gonna rotate the other direction. So we're gonna take the right hand, grab the left um, side of your head, put that pressure between the head and the hand into it, good. And then you're going to rotate to the right, this time leading your eyes, lead the way, and the elbow is not tucking in, it's still staying open. You're gonna feel your torso turn and then come back. And you might feel that this compels a little bit of a, maybe a stretch or maybe some mobility in places that you haven't twisted from in a very long time. Uh, I tend to be stiff in that torso, so this is a beautiful one for me. I do this in my regular practice, and come on, in my personal regular practice. And that little pressure, that little turn, turning from the breastbone. Here, as we're turning left, we're going to feel the right knee elongate and the left knee draw in a little bit to help us turn the pelvis, to help us turn the torso. Good, but only moving as much as feels reasonable and comfortable. Remember rule number one. What's rule number one? Always be kind to yourself, okay? Do not put yourself into pain. This is an exercise in learning how to move more freely, more easily with less strain. So if you train at those very tough end ranges, you're actually thwarting yourself. You're not doing yourself a service. So again, let's tilt that head and turn and come back to center and relax. Very nice. Okay, we did it all with the right. Now it's time to do it with the left. So we're gonna take the left hand. We're gonna reach overhead. And all we're gonna do is grip the right side of your head with your left fingers and that little bit of tilt, the head is gonna tilt off to the right. That's gonna engage the muscles on the right side of the neck and relax the muscles on the left side of the neck. And relax. Just do a few pushes just to get that feel of engagement with the right side neck muscles and the relaxation with the left side neck muscles. Good, one more time just to get that sense. Excellent, and now we're gonna do that same pressure hold and we're gonna actually dip the head 
to the right and feel the torso open up on the left and come back and put that pressure make sure you're maintaining that pressure and the hand is not just going for a ride on the head but it's actively stopping the head from moving and you'll feel that as that happens the left elbow rises up the left torso opens up and that brings you into a little bit of a side bend of the head good you want to feel as though you're gliding a little bit to the left as that left side opens and that you're not just kind of tipping we don't want to tip over to the right we want to actually open up that left side of the body. You might feel a little bit more weight on the left buttock as we tilt to the right. Excellent. One more time just because, ooh, I like this one. <laughs> and I need this one. And it will come back good. And we'll rest the hand. And we'll come back and we'll do it again. Same start position, real simple, nothing changes. And we're going to come from here. Now we're putting that pressure head to the right, but we're allowing ourselves to pull to the left. Okay, so this time we're engaging the right side neck muscles as we bend to the left, creating this new novel pattern, creating a new pathway for our brain to figure out. As we do that, we're gonna feel that the weight starts to move into the right side of your seat, the right butt, and the right ribs start to open up and the left ribs compress as we come back. Good, a little pressure with the head into the hand, and we feel that this left elbow and the left hip start to come together, and the right shoulder and right rib start to open up away from the pelvis. Good. We're maintaining that pressure into the hand the whole time as we move. And come back and relax. Very good. Okay, now we did the side to side. We have to finish up with that rotation, so we're gonna come into that same position, left hand, grabs over grips the head good and then we're just gonna uh, turn we're gonna to the left so a little pressure head into hand turn to the left and feel the torso open again not as far as you possibly can just as much as is easy as is simple a little pressure and that turn feel that the elbow is leading you out for the turn feel that the eyes are looking toward the elbow and come on back and since we're turning to the left, a little pressure with the head to the right, turning to the left, we want to feel that that right knee elongates out and the left knee pulls in, and that's going to help us to find just a little bit more turn with a little bit less effort. All right? we, want to get, we want to be good bargain movers here. right? We want to get a lot of movement for a little bit of effort and relax. And the act of pressing the head into the hand just keeps the neck um, stable so that the movement comes from other places. If the hand is just kind of resting on the head, we're still gonna move from the neck and you're still gonna have those same old patterns that brought you into that pain and stiffness in the first place. And that's what we're trying to avoid. So one last time, pressure head into hand, good. And feel that elbow turn and torso turn. Feel the eyes lead the way. Feel the right knee elongate, the left knee draws back in. And then we come back and relax. Whew. Excellent, okay, we did the left turn, now we're gonna finish with the right turn and then we'll be all done, we can recheck. So we're gonna take that hand, put it right back on top of your head, little pressure with the head into the hand, and this time we're gonna lead with the torso to turn and look to the right, and come on back. And we're gonna do that again, pressure into the hand, we're gonna turn, feel the torso turn, feel the eyes lead the way, feel this time the left knee is gonna elongate out, the right knee is gonna draw back as you come around. Good, and we'll try that again a few more times. Good, nice and easy, nice and smooth. Make the movement slow and smooth and controlled. Try to fight that urge to really push, to stretch. This is not stretching, this is movement retraining. If we kind of go uh, uh, as far as we can, it might feel somewhat satisfying for the moment, but um, we're not learning how to move with ease. We're just reinforcing old habits rather than building new ones, and we want to find new patterns of movement, not just reinforce old. Good, and come on back and relax. Whew, good, now that wasn't a ton of movement, right? But it, it is uh, exhausting, it is uh, physically demanding. So let's just take uh, a final check and see where we are and see if we turn to the right. Can you see a little bit further? Is that fixed point that you were looking at a little bit further than it was before? And for me, uh, and I'm not just saying this for the videos, it's true, I, I, I get you know, a good another 20 degrees of turn as I turn to the right, as I turn to the left, I feel my torso start to move with that movement of my head. It's not just a locked torso and a, and a head moving, but I feel the movement flow through my body, which is so nice and doesn't really happen until I re-energize with these movements. Let's try some side bend 
If I tilt my head to the right, I can feel that I can tilt a lot further, less discomfort, and I can feel my left rib start to open up as I tilt my head to the right, and I can even feel my weight shift onto my left seat, which is a very healthy pattern. And then we'll come back if I tilt to the left. Again, I feel that right side open up, I feel the weight shift, and I feel less stress and strain in the neck as I turn. Okay, so that's a quick, simple, um, but also complicated <laughs> conceptual uh, set of exercises that you can do sitting down anywhere, anytime. You don't need any equipment. Anytime you feel that stiff neck, even if you're at the computer typing for a while and you start to feel all those muscles tense up, this will help you get more movement through the torso and it is not aggressive. Anyone could do it at any level. Just stay within your body, stay within what's comfortable for you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll be right back with you next week with a whole nother video teaching you how to move differently so you can feel better. Take care, everyone.